Today I want to share 21 social media posts that you can copy and paste into your business. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. And for the last eight years, I've been doing this social media stuff with podcasts, YouTube videos, social media posts. It's all about making it personal, sharing stories, sharing testimonials, and talking about how you are not only growing yourself and your brand, but then helping other people grow themselves online. And if you're any type of brand, these can really help you come up with new ideas to copy and paste into your business. And of course, you can truly automate this by using automation systems like Go High Level or Publer, which you can find down in the description below to just automate these social media posts. So if you're new to my channel or you want this 21 checklist, comment new down below and somebody from my team will send you this exact document. All right, let's jump right into it. So step one, I always like to have themes for each day of the week. That helps me and my team think about how we can actually post these topics. So motivation Monday. Mondays usually people start off on a slow week. So you can talk something about something that's motivating, something that maybe motivates you, that you've seen motivates other people. This is a really good way to get your audience motivated for the week or for the day. This is also one of the best ways to get more engagement on your social media post. Tuesdays are my favorite. That's where you're gonna share stories of testimonials or reviews or make it all about your clients. Now, if you're new and you're just starting out, you do not have to share client results if you don't have any yet. Talk about yourself. What's something that you've accomplished or something that's gotten you to the next level or something that you've learned? Share your own testimonial or your story. But if you do have clients, every Tuesday you can post a testimonial from them. Wednesdays are a toss-up. We'll go to slide two here where you can share anything that goes on your website. So Wednesdays are when we share blog posts, YouTube videos, or resources that we actually have on the website. This is a great way to add those links without feeling weird about adding links and promoting yourself because you've already shared something of motivation and help on Monday. You shared a testimonial on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, let's give them a free resource or some sort of guide that they can go back to your website and use. Thursdays, you can either share tips on Thursdays or you can switch it back to Throwback Thursday. Now I like Throwback Thursday because I have a bunch of embarrassing videos and pictures from when I first started. Now, depending on where you're at, maybe if you've been in business for a while, you could go back and show some of the things you did at the beginning of your journey and your brand. Maybe they were funny, maybe they were not quality, maybe they were not as professional as you are now. So go back and share those stories and sh share with other people maybe where they're at now and show the journey of, hey, I used to be where you are, make it relatable, make it about your audience, build that relationship, and now this is where I've come. So it's really helpful to make relatable content for your audience. That's something that I try to do is, my videos I didn't know what to say, I didn't know what to talk about. My first couple YouTube videos you can go back and watch were just low quality. I wasn't sure of myself. I wasn't sure on these topics, but it wasn't until I found these topics and these bullet points that I was able to gain confidence. Now I can go back every Thursday and I can show that, hey, this is where I was, this is how far I've come. If that's where you are, if you're nervous making videos, this is how far you can come if you just start practicing and make start, start making these videos. FAQ Friday is really important because you already have customers or you have people asking you questions during the week or maybe it's questions you're looking for for yourself. If you have those questions or your clients have those questions, you can go then use those because more people will have those same questions. So, hey, how do I start a website? That's a question I get all the time. So I can go do an FAQ Friday and talk about, hey, we recommend Duda and this is how you can get started with a template and this is how you get going from there. You can find my Duda link down below so you can check out those website templates. But what you want to do is share those questions and answer them because if you had the question, your clients had that question, more people will have that question and you'll start showing up in Google and YouTube. And then the weekends are toss up. So you can make it success story Saturday, strategy Sunday. You can make these personal, you can make them stories. We have a boat, we go out on our boat on the weekends. We enjoy being outside. So I share things about the boat and why I work so hard during the week so I can enjoy my weekends. Mountain biking, I do a lot of mountain biking, things like that. You can talk about your passions, your hobbies. What this does is it builds better relationships with your audience. Maybe you really enjoy pickleball. You can share a story about how pickleball is relatable to business and you're gonna start gathering pickleball fans that are in business as well. Let's say you're a golfer, you can start showing you out on the golf course on the weekend. 
Now you're not just focused on the audience you have now, you're expanding your audience to these other hobbies and things that you enjoy because they enjoy them also. They're gonna wanna engage with your social media post. And the last seven you can go ahead and use as extra ideas. You can either use the first seven over and over and over, or you can switch it up every single week. I prefer just using the first seven over and over and over, but I wanted to give you some more ideas for Trans Transformation Tuesday, Winning Wednesday, Tactical Tip Tuesday, Thursday, all things that you can start using for your business. All right, so I hope these 21 social media engagement titles help you. Feel free to copy and paste these. And if you do, just share a link with me so I can go check it out give you a thumbs up, leave some engagement on your post. It's really key to make these posts about your audience, make them as relatable as possible, and try to build relationships through helping people by posting educational, helpful content. And of course, if you're new to my channel, be awesome if you subscribed. Join my community, follow me on X, so we can start connecting more, and I can start sharing my story and where how far I've come, so maybe you can copy and paste those ideas and start growing your brand as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.